Jeez, I don't really record up for Twitter. All right, so I'm here to talk about the Jeffrey Hum, Stephanie Freeman situation. So if you guys didn't know, seven day, well, a week ago, these two kids had. These two kids from Carlton High School had just had been expelled for the, a racist TikTok they had made. And now that this TikTok surfaced, plenty of people saw it, including their employers in schools. They were expelled. And Jeffrey Hum, who was a wrestler, has been released from various companies. And let's just say his wrestling career is very much over. Now, Jeffrey Hum did say, make a, put out a post on Instagram with an apology. I'm going to read you the apology and take my notes. First and foremost, now here, here's how it starts. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize to my teammates and all my friends of color. To anyone I disrespected with the video, I apologize. I do realize that my now ex-girlfriend, Stephanie Freeman, is not taking res the responsibility of making the video, but instead blaming it on me to take the blame off her. That is 100% not true. That's one thing. Now, Stephanie, if you ever watch this, let me remind you something. It was your TikTok account last time I checked. It Jeffrey didn't have a TikTok account, to my knowledge. You did. And so half the blame should go to Stephanie while the other half goes to Jeffrey. It should be a half and half situation. It was her account. However, he was involved in the video and didn't back out and said the word. All right. Continuing. This was supposed to be a joke TikTok. We're going to stop right there again. Last time I checked, jokes don't exist in 2020, especially if you're in a joke about black people slash racism. You cannot joke about that anymore. It is very much illegal to joke at this point because if you joke, make a joke. Like, say that all of a sudden that one day you hate black people then you're like oh I, but I love black people it was a joke it was a joke That's, it's not going to work like that you're going to get shit on jokes don't work in this day and age they died like years ago like near the beginning of the 2010s jokes went away All right, back to reading it. It was supposed to be a joke TikTok. And she made it something into something serious. You both did. I have many friends and teammates that are black. I would not have made the video with Stephanie had I realized it was racist. I'm going to stop right there again. Because now, I'm going to play the part of Jeffrey real quick. And you're going to see me enter the room... And what my reaction would have been immediately. Here's how I know knew it was going to be racist. Fuck no. And just bolt out of there. Because everyone knows you can't say that word. The word that was in the sink, you can't say it. Meaning the cuffs around. If you've been on TikTok for a while, which I bet he hasn't. The cuffs around meant they described that thing. Meaning, he probably was never on TikTok before this. Or, his stupid brain kicked in, or he did this on purpose. I'm going to go with the middle. But I'm, I'm going to go with the middle saying the stupid brain kicked in real, real quick. 
And now we're going to continue reading. Thank you to, to everyone sending me nice messages, but also to those sending me death threats and getting my other pages deleted. Is it worth it? Now, I'm going to stop right there and talk to you guys real quick. Sending death threats isn't okay. Even if the guy, if the people are doing, so, said something bad, sending death threats is never a good thing to do. Like, I don't send death threats to people. Uh, death threats are a big no-no. But I can understand why you're mad, just death threats isn't the option. Is it worth it? Apparently, according to Twitter, the Twitter world and all, everyone else, apparently it was worth it to them. I was originally not going to talk about it until I spoke about it on my Russell Stream podcast. Go subscribe to my YouTube. Follow me on TikTok as well. I'm trying to get to 700 on TikTok. At Hilton Matt on, Twi on TikTok. Let's go. Addy Cage on TikTok. Am I really the one to blame? He asks. You are half to blame. In my opinion, you are half to blame. You were involved in it. She filmed it. It was her account. You said the word. It's a half and half situation. You both are to blame. And then he ends it with, think about that. That's how he ends it. He ends it with, think about that. Never say think about that. Reason why you don't say think about that is because people are going to hate on you more and more and more. And then he left the caption. I'm going to read the caption for you. He says, I am being blamed for all this. I know I, I know just being in the video was bad enough. I should not have to take 100% of the blame. Then you shouldn't have been in the damn video. Once you saw the word in the sink, you should have just left. That's what I would have done. I'd be like, nope, you're racist. I'm leaving. I just hit my mic. My now XGF is not taking any responsibility, which she should be taking responsibility. It was her account, and she also suffered consequences for it. So she should also be taking responsibility. Stop with the death threats. Stop. Yeah, seriously. Stop with the death threats. Seriously, guys. Stop with all the reports. My life and career is already ruined. I no longer am on the wrestling team. My whole life is done. Is this what you guys really want? According to everyone here? Yes, apparently. I don't want to see people suffer, but... Dickbags who commit crimes now... Sadly to you guys, being racist isn't a crime. It's a crime on the internet, but it's not a crime in public. They cannot get arrested for this, which you guys are probably very upset about. And that was the end of his whole Instagram rant. His Instagram rant slash, slash apology. That was the end of it. That was my story time. Now, if you want, I'm going to go in his shoes and make my own apology. How, If that were to happen to me, and I was in that situation, I did that, here's what I would have apologized with. Now, Take note, I didn't say anything. I'm just saying what he could have said to save himself less trouble now with the public. To those I offended, friends, family, to those I offended, I am deeply sorry. I apologize for whatever, what I said. I shouldn't have said it. I, I'm going to take the blame for being stupid enough to be in the video 
to say what I said. I shouldn't have said that. I take responsibility for it. I am sorry. I understand I am not going to automatically get forgiveness and I understand that you guys are upset at me. All I want to say is I'm sorry. That's all you had to say, dude. That's all you had to say. Instead, you're trying to blame your girlfriend to take your ex-girlfriend to get 100% of the blame. When really it should have been half and half. Since you both were in the thing. It was her idea. You were in it and you said the n-word. She filmed it and went through with it. That is my take on the whole Jeffrey Hum, Stephanie Freeman. Jeez, I almost forgot her last name already. Stephanie Freeman, Jake, Jeffrey Hum incident. Jeffrey Hum's wrestling career is over. Do I think they'll be able to get a job after this? Give them a few years. The internet forgets things like a meme. We live on internet times. They'll forget within probably, I'm going to say. How long did it take for Hulk Hogan to come back to WWE? Three years? He was fired in 2015. Four years. Give him four years, probably. They'll probably forget. They'll forget enough to the point where you can finally get a job. But don't expect to graduate high school. Don't expect to get any degrees. Don't expect anything. What's worse is that they live in the same state as I do. I live in Georgia. They live in the same state as I do. Thank God they don't live in Gainesville. But they live in the same state. If I met them on the street, I would tell them that the blame goes solely, whatever one I met, I go, take the blame, it's going to get over, it's going to be over, probably never, because of the year we live in, it's not going to end well for you. Especially Stephanie, since she's trying to blame solely Jeffrey, where she should also be taking the blame. I should. I would just tell Stephanie, why the fuck would you film that in the first place? And why would you think that's a good thing to joke about? It's not good to joke about anything anymore. What makes you think joking about this is a good idea? And I would tell Jeffrey, when he, why didn't he walk out when he saw the word in the sink? When he first saw the word in the sink, why didn't he just walk out? I could have told Jeffrey that he could have avoided all of this if he had just walked out. And Stephanie, she was in a dead end because she thought of the idea. Now, had she not gone with it, she would have also avoided it. But she did go through with it. Jeffrey did join in. They are both fucked. And really, it's 100% both of their fault. I said the blame deserves to be 50-50, and it does. However, both of them are a complete fault for this. They ruined their lives... We didn't. They ruined their careers. We didn't. They ruined their chances of getting diplomas. We didn't ruin their chances. It was all them. That's all I have to say. Again, it's very weird recording for Twitter.